Well, that's really, really frustrating. I've just recorded the last episode and just realised that for some reason the settings have changed in my OBS and I wasn't using me uh, blue snowball, which is really frustrating because it means I've just recorded an episode and it's all muted. Um, and it was against your boys, Matty, but things went quite badly in that episode anyway, so <laughs> hopefully I can turn it around today and we can get back on track this season. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2018 and part 8 of season 4 of The Journeyman with Boston, Boston, with Burton Albion. And today um, we're playing Bradford City and Doncaster, although I have already recorded an episode today, so it's a bit frustrating. Um, but uh, since the last episode, these are the games we've played. We beat Rochdale 4-1. Uh, Chad Evans scoring two and Marvel, Marvin Sordell scoring two as well. We then beat Port Vale 3-0. Chad Evans getting two and Marvin Sordell scoring there. And then for the third game in a row they both scored, but we lost that game at 3-2. We then had a very, very poor performance in what I recorded against Walsall. 1-0 um, lay one, it was just a dreadful match, only a two highlights I think in the whole match it was ridiculous and then we played Matty's boys uh, Blackburn it was a close game 2-2 uh, and then they just pulled away um, towards the end and we got a late consolation goal by one of the new signings as I'll take you through them Scott Carson has come from Derby County for 170k we finally got that solid goalkeeper in um, in Carson now and hopefully he'll help us throughout the rest of the season. He's played quite a few games already uh, this season at Derby County but the last three years hasn't been that much of a regular for them uh, so hopefully after a bit of match practice he'll get back into it. Uh, Ainsley Maitland-Niles, I was quite happy with this one, very very promising player. Um, he's come in from Burnley on loan, he's had a dreadful f few years but hopefully we can get the best out of him. Frank Riley has come from our parent club at Liverpool. He's 18 years old. He's got five-star potential. Definitely looks good from the, the couple of games he's played for us and has had very, very impressive uh, non-competitive games for Liverpool. This one I'm very happy with. James Vaughan comes in from Redden on loan. Um, he's scored a fair few goals in the championship in recent seasons and uh, the last time he was in League One he scored 24 goals if we can have more of that form we'll definitely be pulling out of danger uh, and Paul Glatzel has come in in the last couple of days he's a, a attacking midfielder he's come in from Liverpool he had a good season at um, Oldham a couple of years ago so I'm really hopeful that we can get him into the team and, uh, and we can see what happens. So, in the League One table, we are back in the relegation zone after three uh, consecutive defeats in the league. And we definitely need to get back on track today against Bradford. We're also playing Doncaster away from home. So, Craig, I know you'll be uh, glad to see that we beat beat them today. Um, big shout out to Rivlud, the channel patron, who uh, has supported the channel so, so much over the last few years now he's a he's from swindon town i don't know if he supports them but uh he's from swindon uh and just wanted to see how they're doing they, they obviously started um the uh, game in league two uh they got promoted um in the second season and they finished fifth last year and they, they look on course to be doing something good this year as well richard keogh's there i don't know if he is in real life is he um, that would be quite a coup for them. No, he's not there in real life, but he is there now. And these are their recent results. Uh, one of them being beaten us. So, yeah, I'm sure you're happy about that. But, uh, no, very, very good performances from them recently. But hopefully we'll be able to replicate them. Let's have a look at the team for today then. Scott Carson will start and goal. Connor Roberts, Grant Willett. Will Nightingale and Guyton Bong will start in defence with Ross Doherty as our anchor man and Jack Rodwell and Jamie Allen B 
behind Kevin Oliveira, who himself is behind Chet Evans and Marvin Sordell up front. We've got James Vaughan on the bench. bench. Liam Boyce is back from injury as well, so hopefully we've got a bit of... Oh, the match squad must have at least one player trained at the club. I didn't know that. Uh, Sparrow, I guess, comes in. Um, yeah, Joel Lynch can come out of it. Didn't know that was a rule. Uh, I guess it might be worth actually bringing up the the young goalkeeper. What's his name? Uh, Joe Smith. Bring him up, uh, and then he can be our our bench keeper. Um, yeah, simply because he's homegrown. So that'll be good. Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, we've got plenty of firepower on the bench. Hopefully, so we can. Fire ourselves back into um, <clears throat> mid-table. That, that's all we're capable of now, unfortunately. I was very positive of, at the start of what I recorded for this episode, but um, you know those two defeats have really put a dampener on it. But hopefully we can win today. Um, it's going to be tough, most definitely. Bradford fighting for promotion. Um, I mean, we're only 15 points off the playoffs, so if we really, really put a good run a form together then it's still possible but we're just so inconsistent lately and that's that's been a, a big problem and we've got a bad dressing room atmosphere now and we know from oh for goodness sake we know from our time at, at Blythe Spartans that once you have a, a bad dressing room atmosphere it's very very difficult to turn that around But that was just stupid, really. Here's Roberts. Now Evans. Evans on the ball. Here's Reeves. Dorans. Dorans gets a forward to Wyke. Now to Petrasso. Oh no. Jones to Wyke. It's very close to 2 0. Oh dear, by the way, Emma had a look for Barry Mackay, uh, he's still at Nottingham Forest, worth 2.8 million, so I don't think we're going to be getting him anytime soon, but um, no, it was quite funny your comment in the last episode, here's Doggerty, now to Oliveira, come on son, Rodwell, boots it forward, Chad Evans, can he score, he can, Chad Evans puts in the back of the net, he is a goal machine, he is absolutely brilliant at this level. And Jack Rodwell with the assist. The two guys we brought in initially to this squad. And uh, what a lovely ball that was from Rodwell. And a lovely finish from Chet Evans. And after 14 minutes, we're back into it. It's 1-1. Come on, boys. <clears throat> 20 minutes gone. Not much happening now. But here's Alan Ford and Nightingale. That was such a big chance. That was huge. Ah, uh, Beasley forward. Header by Willett. Now here's Whitfield. Bong cuts it out. Gets it forward to Sordell. Marvin Sordell on the ball now to Oliveira to Rodwell. Rodwell to Oliveira to Bong. He gets it in. It's Sordell. It's a penalty. It is a penalty. I, f I feel like he would have finished that. But Chet Evans is going to be the one to step up and take it. Can he get his second of the game and put us into the lead here? Chet Evans... Steps up and scores another goal for him this season. That is fantastic. 14 goals since he joined us in about November. I can't remember exactly when we joined Burton Albion, but uh, he has been brilliant. Evans forward. <clears throat> he comes here again. Here's Evans. Now on the ball to Roberts. Roberts to Oliveira. Oliveira to Rodwell. Doherty. Oliveira. Oh. That's a shame. He has Jones. Jones on the ball. Jones again. Jones to Jones. He has Wyke. Come on. Petrasso. Gets it forward to Jones. We are just shocking defensively. Look at that gap. Just, just no desire to press and to, to pressure them on the ball. It was just too easy for them. 
and they're going to come in at 2-2 at half time being the, the worst side I would say anyway it is half time 2-2 two -two. we'll give them a bit of a rollick and hopefully get a little bit of performance out of them if we're aggressive with them that'll surely work we'll give Marvin Sordell 10 minutes to improve and then maybe bring James Vaughan on for his debut Dorans, here's Nightingale not quite Hmm. Well, and 60 minutes gone. I think it's time to see the introduction of James Vaughan to the squad. Uh, he likes being a, an advanced playmaker, so I think play Evans as the poacher because he's probably the better finisher. Uh, we're going to bring Riley on as well and put him in midfield uh, as a box to box. Um, I don't know what else to do particularly I guess we stick um, maybe Maitland Niles there on attack I've done it come on come on boys this is it <laughs> absolutely nothing happening this is what happened in the Walsall match except we didn't have all the goals Jones now he has Reeves Whitfield, oh dear, it's away by Riley, here's James Vaughan on the ball, Vaughan, really bad, here's Dorans, Dorans, Wyke, Petrasso, good tackle by Riley, I'm really impressed with him so far, Jones, nah, they're going to score, you just know it, Dorans, Jones, Wyke off the post and will it away, thank goodness. Oh, my word. Demand more from them. Uh, we're going to push higher up. I'm going to try and win this game. Come on, smash and grab. Jones. Here's Dorans. Now to White Watkins. Oh, Carson comes out to collect. He boots it away. Only as far as Jones. Here's Willett. Oh, this is really, really bad. Jones, good tackle by Nightingale. Niles gets it forward to Vaughan. Vaughan forward to Evans. Hat trick hero, Chad Evans. Puts it into the back of the net. It's 3 2. What an important goal that could be this season. It'll take us on to 33 points. Maitland Niles with a beautiful ball forward. And it was James Vaughan with the assist. And Chad Evans gets his hat trick. That is what we're talking about. Some really, really good player there. But I think it's it's all gonna come crashing down. Oh, it's over the bar. And goodness. Uh, I'm gonna go defensive. Well, that's gone forward again. Vaughan now to Evans. Can he get a fourth? He's lost it. Allen to Bong. Mm, it's away. And now we're regretting having the fullbacks on attack. We've... Right. We're going to pause it this time and make the tactical changes. These two. Rain it in a bit. Rain it in, sunshines. Can you have a... No, I was going to say, can you have a defensive centre-back on um, attack? Because <laughs> that would just defeat the object completely, wouldn't it? Um, James Vaughan can go there and we'll play the, I guess, a, a kind of diamond in a way. Um, and we'll stick with that. Come on, boys. Can we hold on here? 30 seconds left. Here's Evans. It's away again, Togarty. Here's Dorans, and that's full time. 3 2. That is absolutely brilliant. Oh, what a comeback. We were 1 0 down there, and definitely needed a big performance to get back into that, and we did, and we got through it. 3 2. I'm really impressed with that, Riley, though. I think we're going to have to give him a start in the next match. 
but Evans has been terrific. He's um, leading the club score, scoring charts already with 15 goals in 16 appearances. That is some going for a man that didn't even play a game of football last year. That is that is wonderful. It really is wonderful. Um, yeah, I mean, if you if you look at it, he played at Oldham a couple of years ago, scored 12 in 30. He is overperforming massively in this league, and he's still got a couple of years at the top level at least. You would say, or at this level, I should. Say. It's not. Um, it's not quite the top level here in in League One, but hopefully we can take that momentum and batter the Donnies. I think they're called Donnies, Doncaster. Right, guys, here we are for the Doncaster match. We've made a few changes. It has to be said. Kevin Holt comes in at left back for Guyton Bong, who's been a bit disappointing lately to say the least. But Chet Evans, our star man, he's out injured, which is a real shame. Uh, so James Vaughan comes in to replace him and Glatzel uh, makes it to the bench um, I'm considering replacing Grant Willett as well but well, who else would we bring in for him, that's the, the, the big question uh, I'm going to play Maitland Niles at right back as well um, and we're just going to go for it a little bit, I think maybe playing him as a stopper isn't the best idea We'll go for that um, as our back four. So they'll push on a little bit. Hopefully he'll stick in here. It would be nice to maybe have a ball winner in midfield. So if we take Allen out uh, and put in Riley, who I've been impressed with, um, that might sort that out. Yeah, we're just trying out a, new, a few new things today. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, by the way, Scott Carson has... Um, Announced his retirement at the end of the season, which is rather annoying because we signed him on a two-year deal. It means that we're going to have to go out and buy a, a new goalkeeper in the summer. I don't think he's reconsidered it just yet, or or maybe he has. Yeah, considering manager's proposal to stay on for another year. So hopefully we can do that. Um, I don't think I've ever tempted somebody out of retirement before but if there's ever a first time please let it be this one <sighs> I don't know where that yawn came from but uh, doing this episode twice is taking its toll on us now but um, yeah we're looking for a victory today after after that big victory against whoever it was I can't even remember now um Bradford City, wasn't it? Exit their city are playing twice today, apparently. It's got to be a bit of a glitch. <laughs> it's fixed itself now. But, um, no, it was a very good victory against Bradford. 3-2. Managing to just nick it in the end. And we've got to use that as momentum now. Here's Evans. Now to Dazelle to Buckle. Buckle. It's Johnson. Halt away. Here's Dallison now to Garrett to Johnson. Johnson on the ball to Garrett into the middle. Halt away. Here's Dizelle. Now a buckle to Henderson. Oh! It's so frustrating just seeing that happen. Oh. And Scott Carson. He hasn't kept a clean sheet yet. We're talking about having a top quality goalkeeper at the club and he does stuff like that. He flings himself to the side. Oh, it's 1-0 Doncaster. And we beat them 4-1 not so long ago. It wasn't in the league, it was in Checker Trade Trophy nonsense, but we beat them 4-1. It was a terrific performance. Ah, oh, James Vaughan's not playing well either. I was really hopeful that he'd along with Chet Evans be a catalyst in improving our form but uh, it's looking like that's not going to be the case Garrett forward, Nightingale away Willett again having a poor game here's Holt now to Sordell to Riley Oliveira hits the post oh wow, that was close here's Pears or Piers I guess here's Buckle 
Oh, Henderson to Evans to Giselle. You just see it coming over the bar. Whew. Um. Right then. I was going to say, why can't we click that? James Vaughan, you're coming off. Liam Boyce is going to make his sensational return. And we're also going to bring Glazelle on and see what he can do. Uh, Frank Riley, you've been rubbish. Can he play as a ball when I can? Tom Naylor. We're going to reinvent you as a midfielder, even though that's his favourite position. Here's Niles, now to Boyce. Dazelle, Johnson. It's away. Good header by Niles. Here's Oliveira. Oliveira forward. Nobody there to pick it up. Here's Dallison. Pairs away. Johnson. Good tackle. Niles has looked good this game. You've got to say buckle. Marquise. Johnson. It's a chance. Oof, it's a way off the line. <clears throat> So 60 minutes gone, we just don't seem to be there particularly, we've brought all three substitutions on already so we'll go for where we're normal. Johnson gets it forward, Mason just wide. But Doncaster are competing for promotion, so you can't really expect uh, to be beating them every week. But I'd expect a bit more fight than this. Although Boyce has just put it into the back of the net. Liam Boyce. Where's he found that? Where has he found that? Um, it said something about that's his first ever goal. Is it from outside the area? I don't know. Or with his left foot? I haven't got a clue. But it's it's one all. Can we push for a, another late winner here? That is the question. I'll tell you what, there's a highlight. It's pairs away. Will it forward? Here's Alcock. Now to Buckle. Henderson. Dazelle. That's forward to Kim. Oh, we've lost it. <laughs> oh. That's just the theme that's happening now with with uh, Burton. Is that we, we just seem to throw it away. He has boys with a late chance. I think he's offside. Well, that's it then. Full time. And we've been beaten by Donny. Oh not good really not good and we've got a couple of days left in the transfer window to try and maybe get a defensive recruitment but the relegation battle is certainly back on I was thinking a couple of episodes well last episode that um, we could do a lot better and, and push on up the league but we've just been poor we've lost four of the last five matches in the league Um and now we've got to go into a big run of games. That's that's going to be really, really tough uh, for us. I think we'll come back for the Berry and Coventry games in the next episode. And hopefully be able to bounce back with two home games. Um, and hopefully we'll be in a little bit better form. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really, really does mean a lot for me. Really does help out the channel as well. Thank you for all of the support on the series so far. If we can hit 20 likes on this video, that would be amazing. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.